We're looking at homework from section 2.2. This is question number 11. Use a dot plot to display the data, which represent the systolic blood pressures in millimeters of mercury of 24 patients at a doctor's office. Describe any patterns. So we have 24 different values here. We want to determine which one of these dot plots is correct, and then we want to describe the data. So rather than try to build the dot plot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order this data. And then by looking at the ordered data, it should be easier to tell which one of these dot plots is correct. So let's put the data in order. So the lowest data value is 110. Then we have a 115 and three 120s. So when I start to look at these dot plots over on the right hand side that immediately eliminates dot plot B and dot plot C. And the reason that they're eliminated is because B and C don't have a dot at 115 and we're supposed to have at least one dot at 115. So B and C are out. We're down to A and D and the difference one of the differences between A and D is that there's three dots at the end of A and only two dots at the end of D. So that is at the value 200. So how many 200s do we have? We have one, two, three, so we should have three dots, which means my correct answer here is choice A. So what best describes the data? Are most of the values between 120 and 150? Are the values evenly spread from 110 to 200? Are most of the values greater than 150? Or are most of the values between 140 and 180? So since A is our correct dot plot, we're looking there. And so the correct answer here is choice A. Most of the values are between 120 and 150. If I move my cursor up there, 120 is here, 150 is here, and that's a majority of the data values that are going to be found on this graph. And that's your answer.